So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about transform vertex form into general form of the quadratic function. In the quadratic function, the vertex form that is y equals a, the quantity x minus h square plus k, while the general form of the quadratic function that is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, e, or y, it is also equal with f of x. How to convert a vertex form of the quadratic function or the standard form of the quadratic function into the general form? Our solutions let us expand the square of binomial and then simplify. In example number 1, write y equals negative the quantity x minus 3 squared plus 9 in the general form. The general form of the quadratic function that is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And then afterwards, let us identify the value of a, b, and c. So first, we need to copy the equation. After copying the equation, let us distribute this square of binomial. So bring down y, bring down negative. And then let us distribute this one. x times x, that is x squared. x times negative 3, that is negative 3x times 2, that is negative 6x. Negative 3 times negative 3, that is positive 9. And then bring down 9. Afterwards, let us distribute negative to the parentheses. So negative times x squared, that is negative x squared. Negative times negative, that is positive 6x. Negative times positive, that is negative 9. Bring down 9. So bring down y, bring down negative x squared, bring down 6x. And then negative 9 plus 9, that is equal to 0. So the general form of the quadratic function, that is y, equals negative x squared plus 6x. Next, we need to identify the value of a, b, and c. The value of a, that is the numerical coefficient of x squared, that is equal to negative 1. The value of b, that is the numerical coefficient of x, that is equal to 6. And then c, that is the constant, that is equal to 0. How about example number 2? Let us transform the vertex form y equals negative the quantity x plus 7 squared minus 23 into the general form. And let us identify the value of a, b, and c. So this is the equation that is written in the general form of the quadratic function. So first, let us copy the given. So let us copy. After copying the given, let us distribute the parentheses. So copy y, copy negative. If we distribute the parentheses x times x, that is x squared, x times 7 is 7x times 2, so that is equal to positive 14x, and then 7 times 7, that is equal to 49, and then bring down negative 23. So let us distribute negative to the parentheses, so that becomes negative x squared, negative times positive, that is negative 14x, Negative times positive, that is negative 49, and bring down negative 23. So let us combine negative 49 and negative 23, and then the rest, copy. Copy y, copy negative x squared, copy negative 14x, and then let us add negative 49 and negative 23, that is equal to negative 72. So it means the general form of the quadratic function that is equal to y equals negative x squared, minus 14x minus 72. Let us identify now the value of a, b, and c. The value of a, that is the numerical coefficient of x squared, that is negative 1. The value of b, that is the numerical coefficient of x, that is negative 14. And then our constant, there are the value of c, that is equal to negative 72. a negative 1, b equals negative 14, and then c equals negative 72. How about number 3? Let us transform the vertex form y equals negative 6, the quantity x minus 5 squared plus 73 of quadratic function into the general form. 
And let us identify the value of A, B, and C. First, we need to copy the equation. So let us solve now to identify the general form of the quadratic function. First, we need to copy y and then copy negative 6. And let us distribute this one. So x times x, that is x squared. x times negative 5, that is negative 5x times 2, that is negative 10x. Negative 5 times negative 5, that is positive 25, and then bring down 73. So let us distribute now the negative 6 to the parentheses. So bring down y, negative 6 times x squared, that is negative 6x squared. Negative times negative is positive. Negative 6 times negative 10, that is positive 60x. Negative times positive is negative. Negative 6 times positive 25, that is negative 150, and then bring down 73. So let us combine negative 150 plus 73. And then the rest, copy y, copy negative 6x squared, copy 60x, and then let us subtract. Negative 150 plus 73, that is negative 77. So the general form of the quadratic function, that is y, equals negative 6x squared plus 60x minus 77. Let us identify now the value of a. So the value of a, that is the numerical coefficient of x squared, that is negative 6. The value of b, that is the numerical coefficient of x, that is 60. And our c, that is negative 77. How about our last example? That is example number 4. Express y equals 3, the quantity x plus 1 half square minus 2 in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Let us determine now the value of a, b, and c. So our general form of the quadratic function that is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. First, we need to copy the equation. After copying the equation, let us distribute x plus 1 half square. So bring down y, bring down 3, x times x is x squared, x times 1 half, that is 1 half x, 1 half x times 2, that is equal to positive x, and then 1 half times 1 half, that is equal to 1 over 4, and then bring down negative so let us distribute 3 to the parentheses. So bring down y. 3 times x squared, that is 3x squared. 3 times x, that is positive 3x. 3 times 1, that is positive 3. And then copy the denominator 4. Bring down negative 2. So let us combine now 3 over 4 minus 2. And then the rest, copy y, copy 3x squared, copy 3x. 3 over 4 minus 2. So it means this negative 2 that is also equal with negative 4 times negative 2 that is negative 8 divided by 4. So negative 8 divided by 4 that is negative 2. So this one is negative 8 over 4. So we have the same denominator. So 3 minus 8 that is negative 5 copy the same denominator that is equal to 4. We have now the general form of the quadratic function that is y equals 3x squared plus 3x minus 5 over 4. And then let us identify a, a that is equal to 3, b that is equal to 3, and then while c that is equal to negative 5 over 4. Instruction Transform each vertex form into the general form. Identify the value of A, B, and C. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning! Mathematics! I'm Teresa Tubal! Thank you so much!